division of two positive numbers. So, welcome. Uh, what I want to do is tell you how to define the division, how to split up things um, in for two positive numbers. So, let's take a look at it. There's a couple ways we write division. First of all, we can write 20 divided by 4. And the other way, we can write it as a fraction of 20 divided by 4, like that. And pretty much what they mean is the exact same thing. Um, and what exactly, when I say division, we think of like is the opposite of uh, multiplication or the inverse of multiplication. What it says is 20 divided by 4. How many sets of 4 can we divide into, can, um, how many sets of 4 evenly go into 20? Or, you know, 4 goes into 20 how many times? So what number multiplied by 4 gives us 20? So there's a couple ways we can look at this. Uh, the one way I want to show you is, you know, if we just kind of take a number line here and we think about this ops operation of opposite of multiplication. So what I have is now I'm going to have a distance of 20. So I'm going to go by 5. So let's say here, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I'm dealing with the number line. And um, what I want to do is just take it, take my number line and go with my answer of 20. So I have a distance of 20, and I'm going to divide it into four equal segments. Well, I didn't just pick my number line to go by fives for no reason. What you notice is if you go by fives, I end up having four equal parts. So 20 broken down into four equal parts, that distance equals five. So I could say 20 divided by five, 20 divided by four equals five. Okay? So 20 broken up into four equal parts, the distance of each one of those parts is 5. And then again, we can use, I always like to you know, check your work to say, all right, 20 broke, goes into 4, or 4 goes into 20, how many times? 5. So that means 5 times 4 equals 20. And there you go. That's how we divide two positive numbers.